Recently, my love and I attended a Society for Creative Anachronisms event in our kingdom of Meridies, the Meridies Grand Tournament. It was held at a Boy Scout camp, and we could bring our own tents in camp or use the tents that were already there. So we decided that we did not want to bring our tent if there are already perfectly good tents there. So we just brought all of our stuff, tried to make it look a little bit more medievally because we do enjoy the aesthetics. And once we had our tent put together, we went around and explored the campsite, which was really cool and really big. We didn't truly dress up the night that we got there. We just wore some of our more medievally costume pieces and then the clothes that we had traveled in. It was a really foggy night and it was just so cool to see the tents in the mist. It was amazing. We then went back to our campsite. I had to do some last minute sewing repairs on my hat, which I'm so glad I had. And then we played Lookhouse or Luck House, which was a game that we had been given at our first court and we had not actually played it yet. So we figured out how to play it and it was so much fun. Oh, wait, I can take it. So Glukaus, it translates to House of Happiness or Luck House, and it originated in Germany at the end of the 15th century. Everything but seven. <gasps> Everything but seven, but oh, oh my gosh, okay. So the board is divided into different rooms with a number in each room, going from two to 12, and four is left out, four is a skip. Now, if you roll a three, five, six, eight, nine, 11, or 12, the player places a coin or a gem in our case in that room, if the room is empty, or you take the gem if there is already a gem in there. Take it all, it's all yours. The next day was the day of the grand tournament. The tournaments are sponsored by different orders of Meridies. Each order provides a prize and scroll for the winner of their respective tournament. And during each tourney, the sponsoring order serves refreshments to the populace and also assists with heralding and marshalling. So there's Amatura, which is hosted by the Order of the Lego Yusurai, or the Order of the Bear. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names, by the way. And that is a bear pit tournament, which is three person, random team melee, limited field. Winner will be the individual with the most points at the end of the time. There's also the saber tourney hosted by the Order of the Blade, which is a single elimination tournament and it's restricted to one single handed sword, no backups, no shield, double kills are destructive. There is also the Chalice Tournament, hosted by the Order of the Chalice, which is a single elimination tournament, open weapon style, and there is a $20 donation to join this tournament because those proceeds will then go to a women's charity of the winner's geographical area. There's also the Sable Sword Challenge, hosted by the Order of the Sable Sword. Uh, this is a William Marshall tournament, and the amount of rings or ribbons or tokens uh, you start with is to be determined, but whoever has the most of those at the end of the time wins. Then there is the Great Weapons Tourney, hosted by the Order of the Rose. It is a single elimination tournament restricted to great weapons. Now, the winners of all those tournaments then go into the grand tournament where you can use whatever you want, whatever fi fighting style you want that you think that you're going to win. But that's not the only way to get into the grand tournament. The peerage orders also get to select a champion and the populace gets to select a champion. So everybody who's been watching all day, which was myself and my husband, we did not participate in any of the fighting. We got to take our rocks and we got to go vote on who we wanted to represent us in the grand tournament, which I thought was a lot of fun. Even though I really, I don't know a whole lot of people yet, so I didn't really know who to vote for, but I picked a shield that looked pretty and I voted for them. Hey! 
All of the champions Woo! then processed onto the field to honor the crown. And then after that, the grand tournament began. How are you? Mm -hmm. The walls will fall! Yeah! <laughs> 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 hey, one more time! Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> <Woo! laughs> husband volunteered to field Harold because they opened it up and asked for volunteers. So he went and he volunteered and he got to go out onto the field and he did some heralding for the first time ever. And I'm so proud of him. He did such a good job for his first time and will only continue to get better. But he was, you can definitely hear him and hear what he's saying. He has good diction. Go Populous! Oh, you're good. Okay. Thank you. 
Well, mine would have, mine counted too. It was a double shift. Uh, but when it got me tangled up, I was trying to get away. I actually poked them twice in the face, but there was literally nothing there. There was nothing there. Yeah, this is double and winning. Yeah. Yeah, I fight again. Yeah, I'll fight again. I'm hungry, y'all. Oh, look, I I am twenty eight. I am older than you. Yes. How old are you? 31. Uh, barely. 62. Oh, we know. I have a son over here. No problem. You look great for 62, Dad. Thank you. You're, moving, you're still moving great out there. I don't know. I find everyone over 60 beats my ass every time. So. <laughs> That's the same age in treachery. <laughs> That's okay. old. <laughs> Man, we can write that down. That's just old age and treachery. Right. So we, we had a, I got that cup. I love that. We had a regional practice in Brunetic that ended up being really poorly attended. No! So we had. On my Dexter, His Royal Highness Timothy! Yeah. 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 Ah. Yes, I can. 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 Yes, Right on the noggin. Tip to the eye slot. This is the final fight of the Meridian Grand Tournament. Whoever wins this best two out of three rounds will be the Grand Champion of the Kingdom of Meridies. You're good, you're good. After the grand tournament was done, it was then time for court. So we headed to the fort for court. Also, my husband volunteered to herald for court. So this is his first time ever court heralding as well. Again, I'm a very proud wife. There you can see him standing right behind the king. And here he is wearing the tabard for Meridies, about to do some heralding. Ooh, ah.
sovereign and consort of Meridiates, wish to recognize our subject, Gerbil Edom, who displayed considerable prowess in the art of war, distinguished himself in battle, and has shared his knowledge with others. We are minded to admit him to the order of the Argent Shield, designed by our hand. After court was done, it was then time for the revelry, in which we had the very historically accurate dish of tacos. They were yummy. And that was it. Thanks so much for coming along to the Meridian Grand Tournament. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe to stick around.